everybody, welcome back to another episode of Throwback Thursday. Today we're doing it live because we've got a higher value box that we're going to be ripping open today. It is a jumbo box of 2014 Topps Chrome. There's going to be five autographs coming out of this box. Hopefully we get some good ones in here. There's also some nice rookies on the checklist, which we'll talk a little bit about. If you'd like to grab one of these boxes for yourself, I think there's three of them on eBay right now, and they're going to run you over $1,000 a piece after the taxes and fees. So it's a very expensive box. I didn't quite pay 1000 for this one. I got this one for, I think, eight fifty. all said and done after the taxes and fees. And this particular box, well, this one is going to be for Jerry. Jerry's one of our Patreon members. If you would like to sponsor a video like this one, like Jerry is doing, grab a box of these uh, or anything we do in a Throwback Thursday or any of our case breaks or Saturday showdowns, we sell all of our spots on Patreon. So there's a link in the description. There's also a link in the uh, pinned comment in the live chat if you'd like to participate in any of our breaks. And our next live stream after this one is just going to be minutes after the finish of this. We'll do an auction after this. Kind of like a little lead in there. And then our next big live stream will be the Saturday Showdown, which is going to take place on Sunday night. Everything is being bumped back because of a slight delay. And uh, I'm actually excited for Top Series 2 once again. I was so bummed out when I saw the checklist a week ago. But Series 2 is actually going to be good now for the Series Collectors. Now, if you're just a set builder, it might not be that great because the good rookie cards aren't in the base set. But the big three are short printed and they are in Series 2. And it's going to be a fun search for Bobby Witt, Spencer Torkelson, and Julio Rodriguez short prints in those cases. So let's go ahead and get started. We'll tell you a little bit about the case. Jerry's in the house. Hey, Jerry. This is Jerry's box. A 2014 Topps Chrome Jumbo box. Five autographs. There's 220 cards in the set. There's 12 cards per pack. And there are uh, actually 13 cards per pack and 12 total cards in here. So... Hope we can find some of the good autographs you see, or good autographs and also rookies. You see Jose Abreu's on the front of the box, and he is one of the top 10 rookies in this. So I made a list of 10 rookie cards that I think are the 10 best. Holy cow, Jerry Fine just dropped a $500 Super Chat. <laughs> that sets an all-time Super Chat record here on the channel. Jerry, thank you very much. Holy cow. So let's hope, uh, hope, hopefully that brings out some of the big rookies tonight. Jerry, thank you very much. And an all-time high for a super chat. Jerry, I really appreciate that. So let's all just really hope that Jerry gets some great cards out of this box now. I hope that's going to bring some good karma your way. Tony says, Jerry doesn't mess around. <laughs> and the type is here says, Jerry should get a plaque at your house right now. Have like a wall of fame. So, and W. Norton says, Jerry is getting himself some luck now. Lots of folks saying, good luck, Jerry. So let's hope we can get some good stuff. Now, let me go through these rookie cards here for you, Jerry. Here's the list. Now, the big guys in here, Mookie Betts and Jacob DeGrom, they're actually going to be in Chrome Update. And I actually have a couple boxes of those for down the road. But there's also lots of other great ones in here. So here's a list. In no, no particular order, you got Jose Ramirez. You've got Jose Abreu is on the front of the box. you got George Springer, Xander Bogarts, Marcus Semyon, Nick Castellanos, Castellanos um, Colton Wong, CJ Crone. Marcus Stroman, did I mention Marcus Semyon? That's a list of about 10, and hopefully we can find at least half of those guys and then some. So, Jerry, thank you very, very, very much. Good luck to you. Let's see if we can uh, do it. I think I, I think that uh, Jose Ramirez might be my number one right now, even though, you know, Abreu was an MVP winner there a couple years ago, and Xander Bogarts is having a great season. CJ Crone having a great season. I'm going to have to go with uh, Jose Ramirez, number one. So here we go. Let's wish Jerry the best of luck, man. <laughs> All right. So like I said, these are $1,000 a piece on eBay. And here's your pack. You can see that Jose Ramirez is on the front. I like the like the cover. Here's all the odds. I don't know if uh, you can see it that well because of the foil um, 
kind of glare that's going on there. So it's really tough to see, but uh, let's go ahead and get started with pack number one. You see David Ortiz is on the back. We got Michael Kadire. We just did some 2014 jumbos all not that long ago and just opened a few packs of up in the random pack opening video a few days ago. Also did a pack in the uh, auction. They are beautiful cards. There's Ryan Zimmerman and Chase Utley, Joey Votto, Brandon Moss, and I think I see some color. I really hope that one of those rookies are going to be colorful. The top three rookies for me is probably Jose Ramirez, Jose Abreu, George Springer, and then Xander Bogarts is right there as well. So it's going to be Brandon Moss. Got a die-cut card of Justin Verlander in there. Brandon Moss, this is a gold. It is going to be numbered out of 50, so a nice Brandon Moss card right there. I was always a big fan of Brandon Moss. Ever since he was with the Buccos there back in, oh, what, what year was it? Like 2008, 2009. Hyunjin Ryu gets a gold cup card. Tanner Roark rookie card. And it's nice that none of these are sticking together as well. Like that, there's Salvi Perez. And some of them just want to cling, but they're not sticking per se. There's David Ortiz. Love the chrome look. Opening some chrome the past couple weeks really has me looking forward to opening some 2022 chrome when that comes out. In about, uh, I don't know, a month and a half or so. Ryan says those cards look awesome. Awesome, they definitely do. I love the way these look. 2014, a very nice design. Here's the next pack up, pack number two of 12. You got Aroldis Chapman leading things off. There's C, C, Sabathia. Baseball Central says thanks for posting good videos every day. Thanks. I appreciate that. Almost decided to bring you a Cracker Barrel video today. We had dinner today at Cracker Barrel, but I was like, eh. I think we've seen enough 2021 Chrome update for a little while. That's basically all they had there. There's Justin Verlander, Michael Choice rookie card, and that's not one of the big boys that we mentioned earlier. We've got a Jordan Zimmerman refractor. Evan Gaddis with the Gold Cup card before becoming a major leaguer. Evan Gaddis was working in, in a school, I think, as a janitor. That's pretty awesome that uh, he was able to... Turn into a, a pretty respectable MLB career. There's Carlos Gomez. We got Pablo Sandoval. Carlos Martinez, who his career has really taken a fall. I, he's not with the Cardinals anymore. I forget where he signed, but Carlos Martinez had some good years. Willian Rosario. And the last one is going to be BP, Brandon Phillips, who as of just maybe two years ago was trying to make a comeback in independent league ball. Brandon Phillips used to be a... Uh, a beast in batting practice. I did not I did not pick up any three bros in a card store packs at Cracker Barrel. I don't think they had any there. All right, next up we've got Steven Strasburg. Uh, Jerry says, how many $6 world... <laughs> $6... Are you talking about the $6 world? Anytime I think of $6 in the WR, I think that $6 World Series ticket that I came across years ago. I think that was in uh, 2013, the World Series. There's Jake Marisnik, rookie card. Everett Cabrera. We've got a Castellanos. There's one of the big rookie cards in this set. I want to put him in the top four, but definitely a top 10 rookie in this set. Castellanos, Chrome rookie card. We'll sleeve that one up. Carlos Beltran as well. we got Dean Anna in there and a die cut. Oh, it's actually not a die cut. I thought it was but it is a refractor of Andrew McCutch in 1989. And there's our first autograph. Have I seen? I haven't seen that 808 cards. Thanks for uh, pointing that out. Do they have just like retail tops? I might have to go and check this out. Ruinus Elias is the first autograph. It's not, uh, not a big one by any means, but that's autograph number one out of five. We've got Johnny Cueto. Well, there's Bryce Harper. MVP Bryce Harper. These last couple cards in each pack just want to stick just a little bit. Martin Prado. Troy Tulowitzki, his career is over. And we've got Joe Nathan, who had a nice career. Someone says, how's vacation going? Hopefully getting more sleep. Definitely. I've been sleeping in every single day. It's going pretty well. We played baseball today. Then, uh, then some uh, catch in the backyard. I would say that out of the, oh, I don't know, the 16 hours that Robbie and Timmy are awake, they want to play baseball for about 12 of those. I think Heather would vouch for that. We've got Starling Marte leading things off our next pack. There's James Paxson, rookie card. I don't have him in the top 10. Uh, just outside, still not a bad one. James Paxson, that kind of shows you the depth of the rookie class that he's not in the top 10. There's Josemel Pinto, Jose Reyes. 
Robbie Cano refractor. And our next rookie auto is going to be Anelki Garcia. So that's not a big name there. Anelki Garcia is autograph number two out of five. We've got Jason Hayward. And then there's Estruval Cabrera, who's still around. Jerry says, my chats won't go through. Makes me makes me wait a while before I resend a super chat. And I wonder what's up with that, Jerry. Sorry about that, man. Um, I don't know. Maybe there's some sort of filter on from YouTube. I don't know, maybe it's a safety thing. There's Dustin Pedroia. Heather says it's baseball 24-7 with the kiddos. Yep, I was, uh, before lunch today, Heather took the boys out and pitched them batting practice. They played for a little while. And then once I was able to join them after getting a little bit of work done here, played some more baseball, and then we were having pitching practice out in the backyard before this break. Here's the next pack up for Jerry. Let's see if we can find in pack number, what is this? Pack number five, Taiwan Walker, another decent rookie. Not in my top 10 for this, though, but still a good one. And there is one of the top 10, Xander Bogart's Chrome Rookie Card. That is a beautiful one right there, Xander Bogart's. Like that one a lot. Derek Jeter. There's Derek Jeter, the captain. Dub says, I'm 19 years old. My dad and I still play catch sometimes. Love this sport. My dad is 72 years old and just asked to start joining us with uh, our... We, we play baseball every single day with the boys, so... We're going to get him back out on the field, and who knows? We might have a showdown once again. My dad versus myself, he used to really pride himself on striking me out or at least, like, getting a ball by me. He would always throw the just junk, like, spinning curveballs and stuff. There's a Nolan Arenado Gold Cup card. Second-year card for Nolan and Jose Fernandez Gold Cup card. Love that one as well. Jose Fernandez and uh, Nolan Arnauto, two of the top guys in 2013, the year before. There's Matt Davidson, a rookie card, Matt Holliday, and our last one's going to be Chris Owing. So there is going to be three more autographs coming up. Yeah, Heather, my dad would always challenge me. He, he would never let me, he would very rarely just groove one by me. Uh, he, would, he was always throwing outside pitches like Peyton the Black because he was like trying to force me to hit the right field. And I was, I hated hitting the right field. I wanted to just pull everything and hit dingers all the time. All right, here's our next pack. I got a double live stream. We've got this one, then right after this, I'll get set up and do an auction for you guys as well. We've got Ethan Martin, Alan Craig, Matt Den Decker. There's the name from the past. Jason Worth, and there's one of the top rookies. CJ Crone having a good season out in Colorado. He's got like 14 home runs, which is uh, puts him amongst the leaders in the National League. That's a, that's one of my top 10 rookies. As well, Billy Hamilton, by the way, has a rookie in this class. And look at this! We get a Robinson Cano! Now, his stock has fallen recently, but it's not every day you pull a Robinson Cano autograph, and it's a Refractor 1989-style card. Very cool. Now, Cano, back in 2014, this would have been a huge auto before his PED suspensions. He's in the twilight of his career. I don't know if he's going to catch on anymore, but that is autograph number three. We'll see if it's numbered. A lot of times the refractor autos are numbered out of 499. That's out of 25. Four of 25 right there on the Robbie Cano. So a nice card right there. That's with the Mariners. He just signed there. Uh, I think that's his first year with the Mariners. As he was with the Yankees in 2013. We've got Trevor Rosenthal in here. There's Christian Bethencourt. And we're going to have Tanaka coming up. I've got Tanaka just inside the top 10 rookies. He's no longer in the big leagues. He went back to Japan. But Tanaka, they like him so much that they put him on the cover of 2014 Update Jumbos. We'll sleeve that bad boy up. And Matt Latos, who always was a character, Matt Latos. I remember him and his uh, his wife. I think there was something going on with him and his wife and Pirates fans back in like 2013, 2014. But Matt Latos... One thing I remember about him is he threw me a nasty knuckleball once at batting practice. Good old Matt Latos. I wonder what he's doing now. Matt, if you're watching, <laughs> thanks for throwing me that ball. Anyway, next one, next pack up. We got a Mike Trout sliding in there with Jose Altuve. Ryan says, new here, just getting back into collecting since the mid-90s. That's like a lot of us. Welcome back, man. Thanks for being here. There's Cole Calhoun. We've got Tim Beckham, rookie card. Andrew McCutcheon, fresh off his MVP in 2013. There's Nelly Cruz. We've got a Starlin Castro, and it is going to be numbered out of 199. What's the most expensive card that I've seen in person? I saw the Hannes Wagner uh, SGC3 at the National. It sold for like $5 million. I saw that one in person. 
It's behind glass with security guards all around it, but I did see it in person. Didn't get to hold it or anything like that. We got a Solarte right there from the Yankees. Yana Cespedes is still looking for Jose Ramirez rookie card and Jose Abreu. Haven't found those guys yet. We did find the Bogarts. We did find Tanaka and Castellanos and Chrome. Or Crone. Chrome. Still looking for Springer, Ramirez, Abreu, Semyon. And uh, Colton Wong is probably number 10 on that list. All right, next pack up. We've got four, five packs left, including this one. There's Zach Wheeler leading it off. Then we've got Carl Crawford in there. Clayton Kershaw, surefire slam dunk future Hall of Famer. Evan Longoria's had a very nice career. We've got a rookie auto coming. Look, look at this. Jose Ramirez. Nice. There it is. Jose Ramirez refractor rookie card. And we have the auto coming up right after. It's going to be Andrew Heaney, who was a nice prospect back in the day. The Ramirez is not numbered if you're wondering at home. But an Andrew Heaney, which leaves one more autograph left. The Heaney is a refractor. It's out of 499. Jacoby Ellsbury, Wilmer Flores with a serious look on his face, not crying there. There's Miguel Cabrera. Got to see him live and in person at the Pirates game on Tuesday night. We stayed for the entire game. And I'll tell you what, Miggy's looking very old, but it was nice to see him one last time. That's That might be the last year I'll ever see Miggy. I don't know how much time he's got left in his career. I don't know. I don't think he's officially called it a career yet, but. Uh, he might be under contract next year, and then that's it. But I don't. I, who knows? Maybe he ends up getting released, and that's it. So I wanted to make sure I saw him one last time, and uh, saw him get a single, which was cool. So out of his three thousand plus hits, I got to see at least one of them. I, I'm sure I've seen other ones, but I made sure to put that one in the memory bank. All right, next pack up: Alexi Ramirez leading things off, and Will Myers as well. Gold Cup card. We got R. A. Dickey throwing a knuckleball. Lately, Robbie's been obsessed with the knuckleball. Look at the grip there, Robbie, if you're watching right now. That's the way I throw my knuckleball with these two fingers. Robbie throws his a little differently. He uses these two fingers to get the grip, kind of like a Vulcan change. But a nice one right there, R.A. Dickey. We've got Chris Sale and Mike Napoli. Taiwan Walker, 89-style card. Is this going to be a last autograph? No, it's a sepia. It's a clay buckles. Numbered out of just 75. We'll sleeve that one up. There's Robbie Cano, found his autograph. Heather says he is watching right now. And there's one of the better autos. It's Jose, or not autos, rookies. I wish it was an auto. There's still hope. We could find him in an autograph. It's Jose Abreu, rookie card. So shout out to Robbie and Timmy for watching right now. Hopefully we can find one big final hit here before we heading into our auction. Austin Jackson, Nick Martinez, and Jay Bruce to round out that pack. So we're down to three packs left. Let's see what we can find. Sandra, I'm not sure if there's a Jeter autograph in this or not. I was mostly focused on the autograph checklist looking over the rookies. Most of the good rookies in this are also in that rookie checklist. Hey, there's Mike Trout. Love that card. An early Mike Trout from 2014 Chrome card. Got to sleeve that one up. David Robertson. One more autograph coming up here. Tommy Medica rookie card. There's Max Scherzer back in his Detroit Tigers days. Matt Adams. We've got a Mad Bum back when he still allowed his image to be shown on Topps cards. Danny Salazar was pretty good back in the day. There's a card sticking in the back of it. It's going to be Mike Miner. And the final card here is Victor Ramirez. Down to two packs left for Jerry. Let's see what we can find. And by the way, thanks everybody for watching all 766 of you right now. I really appreciate that. We'll be live again here in a little bit. Just give me about 10 minutes of uh, getting set up. We'll have an auction coming up right after this. Until oh, about 11.30 or so tonight. So if you'd like to check out some more live streaming, we'll be selling some cards off right after this. There's Buster Posey. Christian Yelich, Gold Cup card is a nice one. Dexter Fowler. We have an X-Fractor card coming up. It's going to be Billy Butler. The mix is here. Hey, man. Colton Wong, rookie card. Very nice. That's the best, uh, probably either the best or second best, depending on how you value the Robbie Cano, nice one right there. Colton Wong, auto rookie. Jerry Sears says, let's go, Javi. Colton Wong, so I got him in my top 10 rookies. It's a nice one. So that'll be our final autograph. We still have one final pack left. We found uh, most of the good rookies, minus the George Springer and Marcus Semyon. And I think that's it. Maybe Marcus Stroman. Everyone else we found. There's Colton Wong's rookie card. Just pulled his autograph. So if you're a Colton Wong fan, this pack was made for you. Daniel Murphy's sliding in there. And here we go. 
Final pack of this live stream. Then we'll be back in just a little bit for the auction. Let's go ahead and wrap up this live stream. Only one box. These are expensive boxes. So a one box throwback Thursday special. And there's the Stroman on the back that I said we were missing. Now all we need to find is, I think George Springer will have all 10 rookies. Manny Machado leads things off. And we've got Eric Johnson. At least he spells his name the right way. Gio Gonzalez, Abraham Almonte. Rookie card, Koyarahara. And there he is, George Springer. Nice. So a pretty good representation in this box of all the good rookie cards. We've got Springer, Ramirez, Abreu, Bogarts, Tanaka, Castellanos, Wong, and an auto of Wong, CJ Krohn, and Stroman coming up to the back. I think maybe we missed Marcus Semyon, but to get 9 out of 10, that's pretty awesome to get all the good rookies that you can possibly find. And then also some, and look, we got Marcus Semyon as well. We did it. We got all of them. All of the good Rookies have been found. I'm not sure if that Springer's a short print or not. Definitely doesn't look like the uh, the base rookie card for sure. So that's a good uh, that's a good uh, point there in the mix. I'll have to look into that. So there's Semyon having a terrible 2022 season, but he did hit like 45 home runs last year. So that's a nice way to end this off, getting all 10 of the top rookies in the same box. And there's Stroman to wrap it up. So that's it. There's your 2014 Topps Chrome box. Now, if you're disappointed that you didn't see a Mookie Betts rookie card or a Jacob deGrom rookie card, that's because they are not in this release. You got to go. You got to grab one of these bad boys, which will be coming up for a super um, throwback Thursday. These are pretty expensive. Remember, they were $14 a box back then. Can you believe that? These boxes now are like $300 a box because of the Betts and deGrom. I've got a couple of these. We'll be doing those. Uh, maybe a couple weeks down the road. I think next week I'll do 2015 Chrome, and the week after that I'll do 2016 Chrome. Then I'll maybe toss in some 2014 Chrome update. Kind of a little trend developing. Lots of Chrome on Thursdays up until we get into our 2022 Chrome. So there you have it, folks. That's all I have for you for right now. I'll be back in just about 10 minutes or so with an auction. I hope you can join us for that. As long as you have PayPal, you can participate, or you can just watch. But uh, that's all we have for you for this moment. So, Jerry, thank you very much for sponsoring this video. I really appreciate that. Everybody out there, thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys have a great rest of your Thursday, and I'll see you in a little bit for the auction. Good night, everybody.